like do all this. Just like what Are you vlogging? <laughs> Hello, what's up? Where Welcome we, back, bro. Where are we going today, sister? We're going to Tokyo. 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 <laughs> From this side. It's hot. It's not steaming that much. Just to see so I can see it. So guys, so this is our uh, gourmet meal that we're getting this airline food. So uh, I'll better enjoy this, or I'll try to at least. I'll let you guys know how it is. Alright guys, so this guy over here keeps on trying to run over my foot. It's so annoying. What time is it back in the States? Um the same time here minus like three degrees. What? <laughs> it's midnight. What's up guys, so we're out here in Japan finally. Uh, <laughs> my dad's staring at me right now. So out here, here you wanna see there he is. <laughs> so we're out here in Japan, just got here literally like an hour or two ago. We had to spend pretty much that time exchanging currency, getting our rail pass to make sure that we're able to go everywhere. And then we spent some time just like walking around, doing some stuff in the airport and getting all our money and stuff situated. So it's really nice out here. Today it's actually a really nice day. So today we're gonna go to Odaiba and go see some ramen shops, a shop around over there, hang out. Then we're also going to Team Lab Borderless, which is a really cool light museum that they have over there in Odaiba. It's really sick, you guys are really gonna like it. I'm definitely really excited and everything like that. All right guys, so when we got here to the airport and everything, we were walking up and just some random TV crew walked up to me and my family and they interviewed us. So like, it was like, it was something called like, come to Japan or something like that. And they wanted to interview us for their channel about like, if it was our first time visiting, stuff like that. It was like really weird. I thought that they might have thought that we were like famous or something, but it was, it was, it was just like really funny. And then another funny thing that's crazy actually is that in the US right now, it's, it's three, it's 3.45 PM here. And then in the US, it's 1.54, which is crazy to think about. Like 1.54 a.m. So we really didn't sleep at all. Cause last night we pretty much tried to take an all nighter just so that we could get like energy, that we could fall asleep on the plane and then be awake the whole time here. So like hon honestly, I'm like, I've never felt this energetic at like 2 a.m. Which is crazy. Cause I think one of the another factors into it is just that the fact that it's light outside. Cause it just really looks really nice out here. And so like, you really can't like fall asleep or anything like that. Yeah, Team Lab Borderless, um, it's one of the museums out here in Tokyo. It's really dope. There's really cool stuff out here. <laughs> this this is the oh one God. place that I wanted to come because I knew that the, I knew that this place was gonna be crazy, and it definitely is. Team Lab Borderless definitely lives up to the hype. This this, this place right here is crazy. So we just got out of Team Lab Planets. Um, it was really, it was really dope. You guys would definitely like it. I would definitely recommend seeing that if you're in Odaiba because that's just like 100% have to see, must do, must be on the itinerary. Now we're at Dex, which is a really dope um, kind of outdoor mall area, uh, shopping center. We're just walking through here to look for some food. We're actually going to this place where they have six ramen stores to get um, this one type of ramen. Uh, I saw it like all over the internet that it's like really really good. They have like really good pork and it's really tender and then some really creamy soup. So I'm really excited to t try it out. Here at Shinsen and I got, let me show you guys. I don't know how to pronounce it. So don't get me wrong if I butcher this. It's called the Kinpun. <laughs> okay, okay. You guys can just read it because I don't know how to exactly say that right there. That's what it is. And it looks really, really good. About to see how it is. It's just me and Inez out here chilling like some villains. Like some villains, yeah. 
All right, let's eat some good food. Whole life. You look at these gold flakes that they put in there. That's crazy. I was not expecting any of that. And this egg looks phenomenal. Oh my god. What do you say? The broth is so creamy and good. Oh my goodness. It's really good. Mm -hmm. Let me see how these noodles taste too. I can already tell. Look at that steam. That looks good, right guys? Oh my goodness. This is crazy. One of the things that's different about Japan is that you're supposed to slurp to show respect for whenever the food tastes good. I'm not gonna slurp right now because it's way too hot and I don't wanna like burn my tongue or like my whole face or anything like that. But it's it's really good. So like I would definitely be slurping on this right now. That is the most tender pork I've ever had in my whole life. This is definitely worth it. It totals at about 14.35, which is just about 1,500 yen. I would definitely say it's worth the buck because it's a very good meal. But you can definitely get ramen for a lot cheaper here in just like all these places. So this store has really good pork ramen. But in these other five stores, there's one that specializes in fish, there's one that specializes in chicken. There's stuff that's like really, really good that you guys should definitely try. So I got, I'm not actually sure, but is it good? I just got one of the things, I just clicked on it. And I did that. And so I'm gonna try the broth. Oh my god. You like the best food? Oh, very creamy. Some of them are the cool thing about it. Some of them are how you order food at this place. The cool thing about how you order food at this place is it's kind of like a vending machine. Like a big scoop. You kind of just click it on the vending machine and then it prints out a little receipt, a little number that you give to them and they bring it out to you. Yeah, this broth is super creamy. Oh, I'm not even to be